Mr. Damon Dunn, a Stafford alumni, retired NFL player, businessman, and candidate for the California Secretary of State. Let's welcome Mr. Damon Dunn. Young people, let me share this with you. First of all, in life, there is no such thing as quitting. There's only success, and we must push through at all costs. Listen to this. I want to share this with you. Listen to this. There are no excuses. My mom had me at 16 years old. My father was killed when I was three. I lost three friends to murder by the time I was 16. We grew up with 10 people living in a three-bedroom trailer, and I slept with two of my uncles my entire life. And yet I was able to go off there to Stanford University, finish at the top of my class, go back to Harvard Business School, do executive education, go on to play in the NFL, and run a multi-million dollar real estate development firm. So there are no excuses. But let me share this with you, and then I'll take my seat. As Dr. Small said, be good, be brief, and then be seated. Let me just share this with you. All you young people, listen to me right now. I want all of you to look at this because this is just the beginning. You have not arrived, this is just the beginning. I want all of you to go on and graduate from junior high school and then graduate from high school. I want all of you then to go on to college and graduate magna cum laude, graduate summa cum laude, graduate Phi Beta Kappa. And then I want you to come back to all the people that tried to place a ceiling on your ambition, to all the people that tried to hold you back, that tried to push you down, and then I want you to commence to knocking them out, but not with fiery words and not with a balled up fist. Knock them out with your superior genius. Knock them out with your superior creativity. Knock them out with your superior dedication to your task. Do not curse their darkness. Learn to light candles. Do not get mad at the waters that stand in front of you. Use architectural genius and add elbow grease and stick to it and build bridges over to the other side. And never, ever, ever give up on the ship of education because that is the golden ship in this nation that no matter where you start, your current disposition does not have to determine your ultimate destination if you indeed get an education. Thank you. Alicia, about the, uh, Alicia Rock. You know what? We're coming out here to celebrate young people and their achievement. And oftentimes, uh, we don't have the opportunity uh, to give back to our community. And the best thing we can do to give back is to make sure when young people are excelling, that we go in and compliment that and reward that so that way they know that that's the barometer that they have to continue to accomplish. And when we don't reward that, when we don't uh, go in and, and give achievement based upon that, uh, then what we find is young people don't strive for that and they don't feel validated. And so that's what it means to me. I mean, there are a lot of awards we can give, but the most important thing is that people like myself come back and say, look, you are important to us, that it matters to us, that we care, and that we want to be here to support you and say, good job. How important to the community is a program like Jordan Incredibly, this program is incredibly important to the community because what happens is that there are a lot of people, as you saw, that was on the stage today, that have all excelled and all have achieved. And we were able to bring people from diverse backgrounds, people from education, people from the military, people that were in business, you know, and we were able to come out and tell the young people, hey, listen, what you've done is significant and important, and you're not alone, that all of us are standing with you, and some of us from a distance, but we're all watching, and that we're all in this together. And when the community comes in to support young people, and they know they're not alone, then they know that they slip a little bit, that they have a lot of support around them. So it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a village to support a child, and to make sure they stay up, and to continue to achieve, and continue to excel, so this is important for all the young people in the community uh, so they can continue to know that, hey, look, they're not alone and that a lot of us support them, even if some of us from May, a distance. For the May young people Ema that are struggling Urshan. and thinking they can't make it, what would you tell them? I would tell them that, listen, we've seen worse times than these. William a lot of people have had uh, failures Golden and had disappointment, Avenue. but our failures and our disappointment, they don't define us. Tyrese it's the things that we rise from, Golden that Avenue. failure is a one point in time opportunity to learn a lesson and Aaron success Durant. is defined by Golden moving Avenue. from failure to failure without losing momentum. So failure is okay. Martell as a matter of fact, fail as fast as you oh, can Mark so Elementary. that you can get up as fast as you can and you can get closer to success as fast Dave as you can. Martin. So a little bit of discouragement is okay, Parker. but we have to step in and say, you know what, it's okay. This is not the end. This is just a
a stopping point. Billy, Let us give you some encouragement. Walk. Get back up. Keep up. walking. Look, if a man should fall down, he can look up, he can get up. If he can get up, he can walk. If he can walk, he can oh, run. Again, if he can run, he can win. Time. And our job is to go tell these young people, oh, you, may have fell, you may have fallen down, but you can get up. And if you can get up, you can walk. If you can walk, you can run. If you can run, hey, you can win. Is there anything else you'd like to say, sir? I would just like to say thank you guys so much for you know having me be a part of this. I think that I was encouraged as much as the young people today. You know, anytime you see other people that have followed in some of the same footsteps that you've kind of walked, it shows me, you know what, uh, that I'm making a difference. It lets my heart know that there are other young people that are going to take the torch further than what I've taken it. And I think that's all of our responsibility to make sure the next generation, you know, grows higher and higher. And I was just very encouraged that uh, a lot of young people are going to take it further than what I've taken it. And, and that excites me. Thank you for your time. Thank you, brother. All right. All right, man. Okay. Thank you. All right.